Today on the channel, long gaming at its finest. Finally getting around to unboxing Captain America, Quicksilver, and Iron Man from the Infinity Saga collection. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends unboxing and review, as today we take a look at the Infinity Saga figures of Quicksilver, Captain America, and Iron Man. But remember, for all your Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. Now these Infinity Saga figures, I've had these things for four, five, six months possibly now. Uh, these hit really hard at Target's, not as hard at Walmart's from what I saw. Of course, I believe you can get these online if you want. These were quickly clearanced out for the most part after about a month uh, from Target's out there. We unboxed quite a lot of figures from this wave, but I gotta admit, these three were the ones that excited me the least amount. Quicksilver's cool, it feels like something different. Captain America, a much needed upgrade. And the Iron Man, the one I was probably the most down on is, I just feel it's Iron Man overload. And Iron Man's never been my favorite character in the world. Uh, I don't know, I guess uh, some people feel the same way around Wolverine and other characters where I'm like, hey, give me all the Wolverines all day long. But I figured it would be time to unbox these. Instead of doing them one by one, I figured I'll throw them all in one video. Let's just get this over with, how about? So we're gonna do it like we normally do it. We're gonna take a look at the packaging. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I'm going to start off with the old Captain America figure. Probably my favorite. Not probably. He is my favorite of this threesome here. Captain America, one of my favorite Marvel characters. Uh, but there it is. Very interesting packaging when these came out. I saw these like, huh, very, very different than your typical Marvel Legend boxes or your retro boxes. Uh, I can see some people not enjoying these as much because it is such a standalone set. It is a little bit different, but some people might enjoy that because it's a pretty easy line to collect. You know, you get 10 figures or so, and bam, you got the whole set. So there's something to be said about that as well. Got the big Infinity Saga logo right here. That's why we call it the Infinity Saga Collection. Captain America, the Avengers Infinity War version of Captain America. Now, this is one the Marvel Legends team got to run back because we know we got... Uh, figures from this movie, like right when the movie was coming out, and it was we know with Hasbro and probably others out there, uh, Marvel team does not tip their hat, let them know what the characters really look like, some of the intricate details maybe they need to know. They give them just enough knowledge to be dangerous. So what happens is we get some figures that weren't quite up to movie standards, then years later we get them released correctly. I really do hate that. I wish there was a way to figure that out so that didn't happen because nobody wants to buy figures multiple times. At least I don't, but here I am. Here I am. Uh, but very cool packaging still, nonetheless, on this one. Get kind of the movie poster on the side. I really do like the colors there. really does pop. You can see it a mile away. Same over here as well with the other side. And then, of course, the back, we got a little bit of blur. We got the movie poster as well. Marvel Legends logo. Warnings down there. Let's see what it says about old Captain America here. Armed with Wakandian shield, Steve Rogers steps forward to defend the world from the impossible threat of Thanos and his minions. Oh, nobody likes a minion. Uh, unless you like the minions movie, like my kids, then you do like a minion. So there you go, let me walk that back. Uh, there's those interesting backgrounds we've seen before with the Infinity Saga. Cool enough. See you later up high, off the wall, there it goes. Oh, this is a much, much better version of this Captain America. There he is in the plastic prison right there. Get the extra head, you get the shields, you get two fisted hands. He's a hero, he needs his fisted hands. He's ready to throw down. He's ready to take it to the limits uh, if need be, of course. That's old Captain America, that's old Steve Rogers for you. Knock that out, knock that out, and there he goes. See you later, goodbye. Oh yeah, this is nice. I like the blue color right off the bat. I see that it's a darkish blue, but it's also a bright blue at the same time. Uh, and I do have right here, handily enough, uh, the version that came out way back when uh, this movie first came out. This is the one they're kind of running back and night and day differences, night and day. This one is so much better, so much better than the old one. Uh, gosh, this old one from day one, the hair didn't look right to me. It just looked funny. This one looks like what you want Captain America to look from uh, the Avengers movies for sure, especially this pivotal scene against Thanos. So we got that right there. So I like the head sculpt on here. Beautiful beard detail. I think it looks really good. I think I heard some uh, scuttle, some fuss, some might say, that they didn't like this head either. But man, it's night, day different better than this one. 
Uh, this one's just, uh, I'm going to say a hot garbage on this one for sure. Uh, but I like that. He does have two hand-holding hands. Two hand-holding hands? Two C-grip hands uh, so he can hold his shields and stuff in here. Uh, he does have a belt that does move. It is not attached, but it is not removable. It doesn't have a plug-in. All the typical articulation, bicep swivel, of course, shoulders up, down, all around, head removable, of course, hands removable, uh, double-jointed elbows, yep, double-jointed knees, yes, thigh swivel, yes, ab crunch, not a, it's almost a, it's a very hidden ab crunch. They did a good job hiding the lines, the ab crunch on this one, as I didn't even think it had it, but it definitely does. Back and forth there. Of course, ankle articulation and a boot cut as well. So all the articulation you would want in the old Marvel Legends game. I am here for that all day long. The other head, you got the more mad head. He's just a, a stoic head here. And then you got the angry mad head. He's running the battle head. And I wonder how this would look. I'm going to pop this head off, hopefully. Hopefully, yep, there it goes. Hopefully this fits on here. And this is probably going to be the way to go. Oh my gosh, it's a little hard to get in, but I think you can get it with a little heat and stuff. Yeah, definitely this is the way I'm going to go here. You guys know I'm such a purist on my action figures. I don't like swapping heads and, and accessories. I like to keep it how it is. But there's some instances, the Red Guardian being the last one from the MCU that I can remember. We got that two-pack, uh, fan channel exclusive, whatever you want to call it with two amazing Red Guardian heads. Took one of those heads, put it on the older Red Guardian, and man, now you got two awesome Red Guardians. Uh, this looks nine times better uh, with this head sculpt on it. So I'm going to figure out, and this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to put one of each of these. So I'm getting an extra use out of that better head sculpt. It'd be a shame to waste that, especially when you got this one floating out there that's just honestly hot garbage. Honestly, it is hot garbage. So really, I feel like this one just overnight just had so much improvement right here. So this Steve Rogers, Captain America, uh, gets a second lease on life, we'll call it. A second lease on life. Uh, but then you get these uh, shields, very cool shields, much better than the... <laughs> look how big the old one is and look how smaller this one is. So uh, very interesting there. It's just it's just a shame the, the Marvel Studios can't give them all the details on this kind of stuff. But I get it. They're scared of leaks. They're scared of spoilers. Uh, it's just a, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. But of course, these do fit in his hands. You got to remove the hands to put them on. And I'll do that right now. Pop that in there. Pops in just easily. Pop the hands off. We're all used to popping hands off by now, I would say. And then you stick that in there. Come on. Well, maybe. Maybe I'm not as used to it as I thought I was. You stick it in. There we go. Whoop. Well, maybe not. But anyways, you get the idea. Sticks right there on the hand. We'll have it nice for the glamour shots. But I like it. I like this one. I'm going to have to imagine this is... Oh, and these are removable too as well. So FYI on that, the uh, wrist gauntlets can come off if you are so inclined to do that. Put that hand back in there so I don't lose it. But I got to say, this Captain America meets my expectations, looks really good. This was the one I was the most excited about, like I said. So I'm here for it all day. The Infinity Saga, Captain America, a must-have. And it's great to get that extra head to help fix this one's problems. Can't ask for much more than that. I'm here for it. It's pretty good. But what do we think about Quicksilver? Let's check him out next. All right, next up from the Age of Ultron, we've got Quicksilver, one figure that people have been clamoring for for quite some time. We needed a movie version of Quicksilver, and today is the day. So here we go. Something new in this line. It feels pretty good. Uh, it comes with a lot of Ultron parts in there, which is interesting, and uh, we'll have to play with those. I'm not sure exactly what those do, if there's a reason, or if they're in there just for the heck of it. Uh, we'll see once we get them out of the packaging. Very similar packaging to the Captain America, except it's got the Age of Ultron logo up here. Siding is the same for the Infinity Saga figures. Same thing over there. Quicksilver on the top. And the back, you got that movie po poster of the Age of Ultron. You got a little blurb off to the side. Quicksilver name, Marvel Legends, warnings, all that fun stuff. So let's see what it says about old Quicksilver here. Quicksilver's ultra high speed capabilities are a major asset of the Avengers in the fight against Ultron. And all and uh, Ultron Quicksilver to me is always an X Men related character, X Factor, especially in my reading days. So whenever I think of Quicksilver, I think of X Factor. I don't think as much of his time with Scarlet Witch, his time with the Avengers. Uh, maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just the era I grew up in. I'm not sure. Same background we saw with Captain America. See you later over top plastic prison and i'd be lying to say if quicksilver was one of my favorite guys you know a guy that runs fast not a big deal we saw that with the flash in the 80s uh my dad a big flash guy though he loves him some flash quicksilver uh, i don't even think he's in my top 50 favorite superheroes of all time just kind of one of those guys that's just around running around 
Um, but yeah, it is what it is. But I'm happy to get a figure. Happy to get somebody different on my shelf, as you guys know. See you later. Off to the side, and we're off to the races. That being said, my thoughts of Quicksilver uh, are better here, though. This figure is very strong, very sturdy, strong joints here. Boy, they're very tight, which love a tight joint. Very small fists on him, but I guess he is a smaller guy. Uh, nice head sculpt here. You got the kind of uh, 5 o'clock shadow, maybe a little bit more 5 o'clock shadow beard coming in. Nice white hair with kind of the, almost looks like frosted tips. Almost like a young Ric Flair here. Uh, the darkness setting in there. Uh, but a very good looking head sculpt. I mean, it definitely looks like the actor in my eyes. Uh, you got double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, bicep swivel, arms go all the way over, thigh swivel, of course. Got a little drop down hips action here, which is interesting. Not a ton, as much as G.I. Joe, for example. But we got a little bit of movement there that you can use. Waist, of course. Ab crunch, not the full on ab crunch like we saw with Captain America, more of a diaphragm action there. But you get a lot of articulation with that. Uh, with the waist, of course, and then the shoes. He's got his running shoes on. His, why shouldn't he? He should have his running shoes on. I bet he just wears those things out really quick all the time. Uh, you get two extra hands going on, kind of the little finger point like he's getting ready to run. So you got some of that going on here. So choose your own hand adventure, as we always say. Good coloring on this one, though. Uh, but it's not the typical Quicksilver I think of. You know, I think of the X-Men Quicksilver outfit, which he's not quite there yet. I don't know if he'll ever get that way in the MCU or not. Uh, but it is very almost Under Armour-esque, racing-esque wear is what he kind of reminds me of. It's almost like he's got jogging pants on. And then, of course, he's got his old A6 on. I think he's got an A6 sponsorship, so good for Quicksilver uh, getting those sponsorships. So it is what it is. Not my favorite figure ever. Nothing that's going to blow me away. Maybe it'll blow you away. You can tell me in the comments down below. But I'm just happy to get a new figure, a character we haven't had in the past. I'd take this all day over another Iron Man, for example. Uh, so it is. It fits some uh, collections out there, I think. Then we get these Ultron parts. And, uh, yeah, I guess it's just parts. Just pieces to have laying around your diorama, your display. You stick these on the ground, have guys standing around it. There it is, but you kind of get his big chest piece here. Nothing clicks together, none of that. Uh, it just looks like Ultron kind of battle-damaged robot mechanics is what this looks like. Then you get an arm here that's been ripped off. So you got that. And then you got the spine and head, which that's pretty gory. This looks like something out of Mortal Kombat is what it looks like, but I'm okay with that. You know, he can carry this around, run around with these pieces. I guess that's what it's for, you know, him delivering the pieces. But yeah is what it is. I don't, I don't know. The pieces are an interesting. I guess they had to give him some kind of accessories. There was some money in the budget and they said, let's give him these Ultron pieces and better than nothing. We'll call it with that. So there's Quicksilver. Now we turn our attention to the final one here. And honestly, the one I was the least excited about. So we'll see what happens with it. But we got Tony Stark. We got Iron Man. All right, our third and final figure in the Infinity Saga set here in this video is Iron Man Mark III, just like Deep Purple Mark III, I think. Uh, but it is from the Iron Man movie, and Iron Man Overkill, if you ask me. As I said, I'm not the biggest Iron Man guy. Got so many Iron Man figures over the last few years. This one didn't really excite me, but maybe once I get him out of the package, once I see all the bells and whistles, maybe he'll change my mind. So let's take a look at the packaging on this one. Iron Man right there. Of course, there's him in the package. A lot of accessories here. I'm not sure what all these are. We'll have to dive in and see what's going on. Infinity Saga, of course. Marvel Legends. Uh, packaging, uniform packaging in this video, of course. Infinity Saga on the side. Infinity Saga on the other side. And then, of course, the back. Got that Iron Man poster. You got the little blurb as well. Marvel Legends logo at the top. Warnings, all that fun stuff. Let's see what it says about Iron Man Mark III. Tony Stark takes on the world's most, or most, worst villains in the Mark III suit, a technological wonder equipped with a variety of stunning enhancements and upgrades. And I don't know, what's your favorite Iron Man suit? I guess I'm not good enough to know what mark they are. Uh, mark III, your favorite? I always liked the ones that was in the Ursa Major Build-A-Figure Wave. Those were two of my favorite ones, so I was happy to get those for sure. Uh, and I like some of his classic outfits as well. Not sure how I feel about this Mark III, but we're going to find out very, very soon. There's that background. You can kind of see that there. A little different logos and stuff. See you later up high towards the sky. All right, old Tony Stark Iron Man, the plastic prison. A lot of pieces here. I don't know what they are. We'll see if I can figure it out. But there he is right there in the package. Let's pop this stuff out. We got extra hands. We know what those are for sure. We got an extra head. I know what that is for sure. And we got some communicators or something going on here. You gotta be smarter than the suit, and I'm not claiming to be smarter than the Iron Man suit. So we'll see what goes on. 
that out. See you later. Goodbye. All right, accessory wise, we got two hands. We got the old uh, blaster hands going here. You have to have these with Iron Man, of course. We got two of these, the left and the right. Nice red color with the white. Nice shine to the red as well. So I do like that. So we got that over there. We get an extra head here. You got to have an extra head. So you get the Tony Stark with the mask flipped up, or you get the straight up head. I think that is a good idea. I'm here for that. Good head here. Got the white eyes, the red, the black lining, and then, of course, the gold. It's Tony Stark Iron Man right there all day long. You know who that is. Now, this is where it gets confusing. What are these little pieces and where do they go? Uh, that's the million dollar question. Sometimes the arm things pull off. Oh, oh, we got stuff here. What do we got? Well, I'm going to dig into the figure. Maybe by digging into the figure, I'll be able to figure out where this stuff goes. And I'm already starting to figure it out. So let's start with the head. Like I said, you got the visor that flips up. Depending how you want your Tony Stark to look, I can see you going both ways. Uh, for me, I'm going to find out, okay, which one do I like the best with the mask down? Which one doesn't? And, and we'll go from there and I'll figure that out. I do like these shoulder gauntlet things here. They are movable. They are not removable, but they are definitely movable. Uh, you got to be a little careful. I'm sure you could rip the plastic if you're really rough on these, but it does move with the arm to give more posability. Instead of it being constant here locked, stopping the, the arm from moving, you get some movable pieces here. So I like that, of course. Double jointed elbows on this one. Yes, it is double jointed elbows. He does have a little bit of a film greasiness to him. I don't know if it's the plastic or what causes that, if it's kind of the metallic sheen with it. Uh, you do got the little burst of light right there in his chest, of course. Articulation, a lot of articulation at the waist right there. Holy cow. So we got a lot of posability out of this Iron Man, which is good. You can get him in some dynamic poses, flying around your display, flying around your collection, whatever you want to do. Head removable, of course, up, down, all around, can look all over the place. Gives a pretty good tilt up to the top. Uh, hands removable, of course. And then we got a little plug-in right here. I'm not sure why they don't put the piece on there. Is it showing that, hey, we want to be able to show that it is removable? But it looks like I'm guessing this piece just fits right in there. I believe it does. Maybe, maybe not. Uh-oh, and dropped it. Let me find it. Yeah, oh, there it is. Always fun, always fun dropping pieces. But this is not wanting to fit in here, but it's got to fit in there. I know it does. There we go, got it in. So I don't know, is that a gimmick that I need? That just seems like a small piece that somebody's going to lose. I could see somebody years from now buying this figure on eBay and this piece is missing. They're like, oh, I'm missing that piece. And good luck finding that just for sale by itself. I can tell you that much. And you got this stuff. Okay, so what this is, that goes there. Okay, so you could choose your own uh, forearm adventure here. You can have it just plain. You can have it open with like just the parts showing there a little bit. Or you could put a little blaster action there if you want to dress that up with some blaster action. And I'm not even sure what this is exactly, but that's what this is for. So you got this plug right here. Choose your own adventure. What do you want on here? Uh, it's up to you. It's up to your imagination. So I guess that's cool enough. Uh, a little looseness in this right arm, too, as I've been playing with it. So that's a little unfortunate. Uh, legs, you got the thigh swivel. Of course, no waist on this guy. Legs go all the way out, almost to a splits position. Double jointed knees, holy cow, tight knees. Tight knees, but they will, will go. Oh, there we go. Boy, that's a lot of articulation all the way back on those. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, the ankles on a big ball there. A little bit limited by his, I don't know, calf guards, foot guards, whatever you want to call them. But not terrible Tony Stark. Not a terrible Tony Stark at all. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to give this the old better than expected. And that's always good. You guys know that. Uh, it seems a little large, too. I don't know. Let's pull out that cap. He seems a hair big. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the height difference between Iron Man and Captain America, but he's at least a half a head taller uh, than Cap here. And he towers over uh, about the same on Quicksilver. So he does seem a little bit bigger. Uh, very lean and tall. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that is correct or not, but better than expected. We're going to call it that. I'm I'm going to move him into the middle spot. We're going to rank these guys real quick. Very easy for me to do. I'm going to put Cap all day at number one. And then it's close between the other two, but I'm going to give Iron Man the, the Duke here. He's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, clean, a little cooler. This is just a little bit plain Jane and Quicksilver's, just like Iron Man, never been a favorite of mine. Uh, but I do like this Iron Man more than I thought I would. And Quicksilver is about what I expected. So I'm going to put them in this order. What do you guys think for an order? I just think this Captain America uh, could be the best Infinity Saga figure out of all of them. Uh, we got some really good ones. That Searcher is probably the best. Uh, Iron Monger, very good as well. 
Uh, but this Captain America is a much needed upgrade. I didn't know how much I needed this until I got it. I love the extra head to swap onto the other figure. Quicksilver is what he is. And Iron Man, I mean, if you have another Iron Man, I could see you needing to pass on this one. If if you're not a total all-in Iron Man guy, there might not enough be enough meat on the old bone for this one. But only one way, you got to ask yourself, and you got to leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on these three figures. How do you rank them? Any thoughts, anything I missed, let me know down below. Make sure you like the video, you made it this far. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the Infinity Saga, Captain America, Quicksilver, and Iron Man, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.